we're here in the shop at Pulse Audio right now, and we're about to get ready to put these caliber covers on. I am excited to see how they're going to uh, look on my car. We have the Hellcat replica rims with the uh, lighting trends, wheel lights on there, and as you can see, it just looks basic right there. I always wanted the Brembo look, but I don't want to have to spend the Brembo price. And Freddie is uh, putting the the lift on so we can lift it up and get these wheels off in just a second. So if you followed the video so far, I want you to give it a, a subscribe and a like, and make sure you hit that bell button so you don't never miss a notification from us. And go follow Pulse Audio and Clip Cut Actions. All their links will be in the description below. And let's get this uh, purple demon uh, with some caliber covers on there. Let's uh, make this thing look uh, a lot better. So I'm excited to see this. Uh, thank you, CCI. They did not sponsor this video at all, but I have been in contact with him to um, make sure I was putting these things on right. Now, CCI, I bought these with my own money. Uh, he didn't pay me to say any of this. So this is my very first time. I'm about to see them and you're about to see them put on as well. So you can pull them out. These are the caliber covers, as you seen earlier in the video, where I ceramic coated them, and I and I did it. I did the ceramic coat to protect them because I didn't know if he did it or not. I didn't even ask. He could have, but if you look at the paint, I wanted plum crazy, and it is dead on. Look at that. It is dead on. Now let me tell you something about these caliber covers. They they are different from everybody else that I've seen. Like these actually look real and I'm so excited to see you on here because if you look right here, the 924 to Hemi, he did this as reflective and he put a little carbon fiber accents on there. I just told him I wanted purple and he did all the rest for me. He just, this is the X-Line version. So his link will be in the description. His Instagram will be in the description below. I want to say thank you so much. So without me further talking along, we're going to get one of these wheels off. This is what you're going to need. So you're going to need a torque wrench for the end so you can torque your rims back to the specs. I know a lot of people out there, they um, put their wheels back on and they just tighten them. Everything on a car has specs. So I'm torquing these uh, tires down to 120 foot pounds of torque and that's why I got this and I have it set to 120 foot pounds of torque right here and then this right here is my 19 millimeter and my breaker bar my breaker bar is just to help me break the lugs and then I'm gonna use a drill to take the rest of them off when we get ready to take the wheels off so and then I also have my Meguiar's waterless wash so I can go ahead and clean the rims while they're off so I don't have to do that later and uh yeah let's get this video started right now So I'm just gonna take these wheels off. I've already broke the lugs for this particular one. This makes it a lot easier when you're trying to do your work. If you have a drill, break them and then go ahead and take them off. Uh, a lot of the work um, I've done on a car in Pulse Audio, they did the stars on the roof. We've done the um, <clears throat> we've done the wheel lights together my trade on my tire pretty good these wheel lights I'm just hoping that this covers that caliber cover when we get ready to put it on that's what I'm concerned about with the wheel lights but hopefully we'll see in just a second I'm gonna just slide this over here so now we're finna get ready to install these caliber covers so I want to go over the owner of CCI he wanted me to go over and walk you through how to put these caliber covers on. Now, each car will be just a little bit different, but they're very easy to do. If you're looking right here on the back, you have two magnets. These magnets are very, very strong, right? And then you have this clip. For this clip on the Dodge RTs, this is gonna go underneath your caliber, which you're gonna see in just a second, and then you're gonna put them on. So the magnets should sit flush with your brake and it be on so it does not move. These things are not gonna come off if you do them right. He has that noted on his website. Like if you put them on wrong, he is not responsible for that. So make sure that you put them on right. 
If you have a problem with putting them on, definitely hit him up on Instagram. His link will be in the description below. So walk on over here. So we're looking at my caliber here and then I have wheel lights here. If you haven't watched that video, definitely look up in the description uh, right here. I got this posted where you can see where we installed these wheel lights. So right here, this piece right here is going to clamp right up underneath this part right here. It's not gonna go in here, it's gonna go underneath for this one. And then these two magnets are gonna sit right here. So we're gonna put that on. So we're going to just put this on here and we're gonna put them on and that's it. That's how easy it is to put these caliber covers on and they are not going anywhere. They fit flush in there. He made them directly for this car. Now look how good they look. That is so much better. So much better. So the back is just a little bit different how we got to put it on. So we're going to get in there in just a second. I'm going to put this wheel on so you can see it with the wheel on. So let me put the wheel on. I'm going to put the wheel on right now. So we're going to grab our wheel. And we're going to put them on. Make sure everything fits. And we're just going to sit right there. Look at that. My God. That made a total difference. And they're reflective. So my black part in there, I stated earlier, is reflective. That made it look different, didn't it? Dang, that is fire, man. Give me a little pain around, Freddy. Now, what I am gonna do for y'all, let me turn on the wheel lights real quick to see how they look with the wheel lights on. Click my wheel light, pair it up. See what they look like. I'm gonna turn this around real quick. Here we go. Let's do a uh, rainbow. Look at that. Man, that's so dope. Look at that, dog. What do y'all think? This took my car to a different level. It made it look more like me. I am completely happy with this look. I can't stress enough, if you own any car, whether it's a Toyota, it don't even matter what car it is. If you don't have Brembo brakes and you want a custom design, my name is in these calibers now, 924 with a Hemi. Now, if you want a 5% discount, look in the description, you'll put that discount at checkout code to get 5% off of your next purchase. Again, he didn't sponsor this video at all, but I have talked to him to make sure I put these calibers on right for you all. And me and him came to an agreement that we would give 5% off if you're watching this video and you want to take your wheels to the next level. We have the reflective, so it looks black, but then when you put the light on there, it's reflective. So if a car is coming, they're going to be able to see my name at nighttime, 924 with a Hemi, baby. Get, get, get at me. So we're here on the back. So I just want to make a slight note when you're getting ready to put these on. The line goes to the bottom. Uh, he told me to make sure I let y'all know that because that is the natural brake line way when you're putting these calibers on. So you want to make sure the brake line is facing downward. So that's how you can tell if it's for the left side of the car or the right side of the car. So in order to put these on, you have a clip here that I'm gonna bend down just like this, I'm gonna reset it. So he also told me to tell you that if you take these caliber covers off, you want to reset this clip at the top. So you wanna press this clip down and bend it down just a little bit so it has a nice uh, grab in a seat when you get ready to put it back on. These are gonna go underneath this piece right here. So basically I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put this piece on first from the back because if you look right here on the side, If you look right here on the side, it's gonna clip in right here. Once it clips in here, we're gonna stretch it out and make it clamp to here. That's exactly how you put it on. And then this magnet is made exactly for this and it's gonna go sit right inside of here. So that's what you wanna do. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on. We're gonna make sure that we're all the way at the back. This one is not as easy as the front. So it's clipped on. Now you wanna grab this and you wanna pull it to the front to grab to the front like that. And push it in just a little bit so the magnet seats. And guess what? 
there you go. You have another caliber cover for the back. So like the front, I'm gonna turn the wheel lights on for you. Let you see what it looked like. Man, that's looking good, ain't it? Man, this took my car to a different level. Would you agree, Freddie? Yes, sir. For sure, for sure. I, I believe it. Oh, we're gonna bring Junior over here, the owner of Pulse Audio. Hey, Junior, come over here and check this out. Tell me what you think about this. I think this brought my car out. That's nice. That's nice, ain't it? That's nice. It, 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 look, it look real, don't it? And they're on. They just clamp in here and here. And look at the front over here. Walk over here with us, Freddie. So check that out. Tell me that that don't look like a... Yeah, that's badass. And then if I turn the lights on at night, so that makes it look like a more high-end car, right? Hell yeah. Would you recommend this to somebody? 100%. Now, I've seen other calibers that didn't look this real. He spent a lot of time crafting this. He has like one of those jet machines or something that he can engrave and uh, personalize it. And I'm not gonna put a price up here, but you can go to the website. The website will be the link in the description below. And if you get some and you don't know how to put them on, which they're very easy, you can go to Pulse Audio and do it. So come on back here to the back and just look at the back right here. So we got that. Look at that. Man, that looks so good. Man, he did that. Like this is a cheaper option for you instead of getting Brembo's. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wheel back on. Let you see what it look like. There you go. Boom. Look at that. And they're reflective, dog. That is a custom one for y'all. All right. So that's how easy it is to put these wheel lights, uh, these wheel covers on, these brake cut caliber covers on. I'm gonna take these wheels off, I'm gonna clean these rims up, and I'm gonna put them back on, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video right here. So if you like this video, I definitely want you to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button so you don't never miss a video from me. All our links will be in the description below. I wanna give a special shout out to Pulse Audio and Clip Cut Actions for filming this video for me. Now, if you want that 5% discount code, definitely look in the description. It'll be down there and uh, tell uh, CCI where you found his caliber covers from. So yeah, just do that. And I'm gonna see y'all in my next video, peace.